In this video, I want to cover how you use the divide tool in SketchUp. So my last video, I covered the multiply tool, and this is the opposite of that. So if we had an object here, and we wanted to create an evenly spaced uh, you know, group of copies of this object, we can either use multiply or we can use divide. Now with multiply, you might very well know that you want two feet, three feet, six inches, or whatever in between each object. But with divide, you can say, well, I have these two objects a certain distance apart, let's fill it in. So I'm going to triple click on this object I have here, which is about a you know five by five cube modified. I'm going to use my move tool click my base point and hit control to make a copy. And I'm just going to send this off in the other direction, um, let's say 40 feet. So now I have these two objects 40 feet apart. To use the divide command, what we need to do is stay in this move copy command. With multiply, we hit X or the star key to create copies in, you know, 4, 5, 6, 20, 100, or however many increments that we wanted to go. With divide, what we're going to do is hit that forward slash key, which would be the same key that you use to divide on a, on a computer, so that makes sense. So I hit that, and then I'll say divide by, let's say, 3. Enter. And now what it's done is divided up that space in between with two objects, so it's always going to be one less really than the number you put in because it's counting that first object that you've copied. If I say divide by four, enter, now it's filled it in with three objects and there's four spaces really. So as long as you stay in the command and don't exit out, don't hit the space bar, you can go in and modify it to whatever number that you want. If I say divide by one, I want to point out, there won't be anything there. Um, and that's because it's counting that initial object as one, so that's all you have. So you have to say at least divide by two to see something. And when you say divide by two, it will put that object exactly in the middle of the other two objects. So that's really the basics of using this divide tool in SketchUp. And what you need to remember is that it's associated with the move tool you have to hit control to get that plus sign. And then while you're actively in that command, you use the divide symbol, that forward slash, and pick the number. Once you're all done and hit the space bar to get out of it, the command is over and you can move on. But once you've gotten out of that, you're no longer in that fluid active chain, so you'd have to really basically start over. So that's divide.